we will discuss equations for traveling wave here wave pulse function periodic wave function and harmonic wave function are related concepts we will discuss these here and also solve some problems to clarify the concepts this is a simple traveling wave it is traveling with speed v to the right it's a function of x and at x is equal to 0 we see the value of y after time t the wave would have traveled a distance vt to the right one of the important properties of this traveling wave is that the value of y at x is equal to vt is same as that at x is equal to 0 These are some important properties of a traveling wave and sometimes you may be given equations and asked if the equation represents a traveling wave and you could use these properties to confirm if the equation is a traveling wave. We have a periodic wave here instead of a pulse and this has a wavelength lambda and a time period t. And what we find here is that the value of y at x is equal to lambda is same as the value of y at x is equal to 0. And similarly, the value of y after time t or 2t or 3t is same as the value of y at time t is equal to 0. And the condition of a traveling wave equation still applies here. We will now discuss traveling harmonic waves. Sound waves are a good example of traveling harmonic waves. They are generated at a point source and travel in all directions through pressure waves. Y is equal to A sin omega t is an equation for a simple harmonic wave. And since this is a traveling wave, we write it as a function of x and t where k stands for the wave number, you are familiar with the angular frequency omega and psi is the initial phase difference. Here are some great visuals on traveling waves. We see here that the particles in the medium don't move in the forward direction. The particles oscillate about the mean position and the energy is transmitted in the forward direction. Sound wave, which is example of a transverse wave, the particles are oscillating in to and fro motion about their mean position as the sound is transmitted in the forward direction. It is important to know that particle velocity is different from wave velocity. So the velocity of the particle is the velocity with which it is oscillating about its mean position. Whereas the wave velocity is the velocity at which the energy is transmitted in the forward direction. We will now try to make sense of this traveling wave equation. And as a first case, we will take t is equal to 0 and psi is equal to 0. So this graph here represents this particular function. And we may be asked to find the value of y at a given x. We know that this is one wavelength and also that in completing one wavelength, the wave has traveled two pi radians. So k is denoted as 2 pi by lambda and is also known as the wave number. The wave has completed four full cycles and one eighth of the fifth cycle. So when we multiply 4 1 by 8 into 2 pi, where 2 pi represents one full cycle, we get it as 8 pi plus pi by 4. And when we substitute this in kx and resolve it, we will get it as a sine pi by 4. So notice here how k, which is 2 pi by lambda, is used to arrive at the phase of the wave based on the number of waves. We have seen how to find the value of y or the position of a particle for a given x when time is equal to 0. 
but as time progresses the position of the particle changes and we have seen that the particle keeps oscillating about its mean position as time changes so we will use this to find the position of the particle with respect to time at a position x we have to find the value of y at x is equal to 4 1 upon 8 lambda after time t which is 9 by 8 of a time period so we find that the value of y would be 0 after 9 by 8 of a time period the other way to look at it is to fix our reference axis at kx which is equal to 4 1 by 8 of a lambda and then we move the reference axis by time 9 by 8 of a time period and as the reference axis is moving backwards it will appear that the wave is moving forward so this is how we get kx minus omega t in our equation so the important thing to note here is that when we consider wave to be moving in the positive x direction we take omega t as negative and similarly if we take the wave to be moving in the negative x direction we will take omega t as positive here we will replay this concept with a uh, t is equal to 3 time periods so that we understand this concept of minus omega t well and it is not a surprise that after three time periods the position of y is same as what we started out with so we get the same result when we set the reference at kx is equal to 4 1 by 8 lambda and move the reference axis by a three time period so this explains how we get kx minus omega t so as the wave moves forward the reference axis relative to the wave is considered to be moving back and that's why we put the minus sign and put omega t here minus omega t in some other places you may find the equation written as omega t minus kx and it's exactly the same thing so for the initial phase difference and when we set t is equal to 0 and x equal to 0 we get the value of y as depending on the initial phase difference so the question might be why did we not set our reference frame here in which case phi would have been zero and this concept of phase difference is useful when we are looking at two waves and the phase difference between the two waves can make a big difference uh, when they are interfering or interacting with each other so a concept which we touched upon earlier wave velocity versus particle velocity so wave velocity is constant and it depends upon the values of k and omega the particle velocity can be found by finding the differential of y with respect to time and the velocity keeps changing with time another important concept of phase of a wave so the initial phase of a wave is constant at time t is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0 but the phase of wave is dependent on the value of x and t and this particle at position x keeps changing its position which is the y position based on time so the phase keeps changing with time and its value uh, varies between 0 and 2 pi so I'll solve example 1 so notice here that the wave velocity is different from particle velocity and Uh, the formula that we have used here is omega t minus kx and as per that uh, it's moving in the positive x direction so at t is equal to 0 the wave equation is given as 
6 by x square plus 3 and we have to find the equation after time t and the velocity is 5 meters per second.